Hello and welcome to this tutorial on making virtual reality applications for Android. So we're going to look at making a VR experience that can be shared on an Android phone. First thing you need is um, Unity. Right? So this is an application. Go to unity3d.com, download and install that. Second thing you're going to need is the software development kit for Google Cardboard. Um, I'll put a link below which is this page and you download this um, file go for the um, Google VR for Unity the, whatever the latest one is and download that and next thing you're gonna need is Android Studio so if you go to I'll put a link for that as well and you download and install that um, third thing then is the Java so you go to this link here which is uh, Java SE Runtime Environment 8 and you need to get the one for your if I, this is on Windows so you get the Windows one here download and install that so that's all free and uh, available there so then you that lets you come to Unity so just here is the Unity interface so once you've in downloaded all those things and installed them you go into Unity and this is a open scene here you need to check that you have uh, go up here to um, file and build settings right unity is used for lots of different applications but for Android then you can click on Android and you just go switch platform so what that does is it means tells unity that you're making an application for Android next thing you want to do is go into player settings so click here right and in here give it a name right so I'm gonna put this over here player settings so I'm just gonna call this um, YouTube tutorial okay and the practice the product name so I'll just say uh, practice then go down to other settings and under identification so down here you need to put this in again so YouTube Neil dot what did I call it practice this will just save you a bit of time later on now the minimum API level the one that works for me is Android 8 and I'm going to put the target one as Android 8 as well. Then, next thing, go down to the XOR settings and click Virtual Reality Supported. Tick that. The software development kit, then, because you've already downloaded um, Google VR, you can go in here and select Cardboard. Okay. Next thing you need to do is just go up to the edit and go to preferences and here it'll ask you for external tools and we want the SDK so just wherever you downloaded that just put in the folder so find the folder and put it in there and then the second thing is the JDK and find where you saved that so program files have that there and you got it there so that's getting unity ready to create your VR application just a quick look at unity so you can see here if you think about it it's a little like a theater so you've got the stage so this is the stage the scene so that's what's happening um, on the left hand side you've got everything that's in the scene so at the moment it's main camera and a light so you get a list of things there down below that you've got the actual project itself and you can put in here these are this is like the backstage area of the theater so you can put in everything that you you download or that you might be using or you're not necessarily using in this scene but it's all there over on the right hand side here we've got the inspector and that is all the attributes of whichever asset you have selected so here's main camera so I've got a position rotation scale background and there's loads of settings that you can get here's the light one 
you've got the color, the direction, intensity, and again, lots of settings. Then the other thing to look at here is game. So this is what, once it's playing, this is what you'll see. So at the moment, I'm just looking uh, from the camera and just seeing the default sky there. And you've got the asset store. So asset store allows you to go and find assets, download them, import them, and do all of that kind of stuff. Good thing to do maybe is, um, I'll, well, I'll just bring in the Google Cardboard now. So you just go up to assets and you go import package and custom package. Now I just have to find where I downloaded it. So uh, it's in, I know it's in downloads and where is it? Here it is, right, and open. That's importing all the assets that I'm going to use for this tutorial. Okay, so that's... Um, all you need to get started right so here it is and just click import now in the next <coughs> next video then is going to be about um, some of the basics okay <coughs>